So yeah, this is a hanging wall garden. Has um, got a timber backboard, and I've sort of just uh, hung these. Boards, which some of the boards have a separate twist of wire through it to hold each plant on, uh, but this one here, for example, actually has a, a half pot screwed to a timber board, and same with the chain of hearts. It's sort of like using zip ties. You drill four holes in a bit of wood and um, attach a half pot fill it with soil and um, yeah uh, the stag horn that's a bit different that needs to be strapped on with wire and it takes a few years to grow over but there is actually a wire as well holding it on and um, yeah so this is Hoya opata and another type of Hoya uh, I think it's a purple flowering one Royal Hawaiian or something like that no actually sorry I don't remember the name of this but uh, yeah, and an air, air plant. Um, this gets some really cool little purple and red flowers that shoot out the centre occasionally. So yeah, that's um, a vertical garden uh, made from recycled materials, mostly, anyway. Um, yeah, the rope uh, is just uh, from Bunnings and the recycled cane I found on the side of the road and these timber edges I found as well on a farm. And the only thing I had to really buy was this thin strip of plywood at the back. Actually, it's sort of like uh, masonite or, yeah, probably could have used a waterproof material because the way I water this garden is um, uh, I have this spray bottle over here. I'll just give an example. So, uh, pump, pump it up a few times. And same with like these other gardens. Change the nozzle to a squirt and um, just squirt just above the pot which is enough to wet it and I do that every three or four days and yeah so that's what I'll be doing with this guy and also with the air plants you actually just wet the skin of the air plant and um, so it sort of sucks in water through the the pores on the skin, it's quite interesting, but it also pulls off the, the timber backboard. You see how the roots have actually started to attach to the timber. It's quite amazing actually to watch it uh, grab on. Um, yeah, very cool. And I still haven't seen this variegated Hoya uh, flower yet. It's been in this little pot for uh, about two years, maybe two and a half years. So it's starting to get a decent amount of foliage. And the idea with this is I'm going to train it up around and you know, when it gets a little bit longer I'll be able to tuck it in behind the string here and same with the Hoyas on this side I'll get it to climb up perhaps climb up the string yeah so that's the that's the idea with this uh, vertical painting garden yeah, thank you